So I uh, got home today and uh, found this in my place. Dude, what are you doing? of the newly released Power Rangers movie. Mm -hmm. We're going to start off by not spoiling it, give a general view, and then we'll get into spoilers. So even if you haven't seen the movie, you can watch the first part of the video, and then come back and watch the rest later, or if you've seen it, just watch the whole thing. Or if you don't care about being spoiled at all, watch it all together. Watch it all together. Um, first initial uh, reaction to the movie, mm -hmm. loved it. I loved it. Um, it did uh, better than what I thought it was going to do. Um, just because, you know, it's a, it's a touchy subject to some. Mm -hmm. A new Power Ranger movie, revamping the whole thing compared to what we used to have. You know, the old school Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Cheesy. Uh, I... Swoops every time they move their hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, and it's not a bad thing. It's just you. I truly, I, I'm a, I, I love Power Rangers. You do. But I went into it with just this clear view, mm -hmm. and that helped me. That helped me because I mean, honestly, you're not gonna get anything like the old stuff. It, it's a, it's. First of all, they never had the budget like they had, like to do a movie like this mm -hmm. back then. So you know the cheesy stuff, and you know that wasn't really there in the movie. Um, mm -hmm. well, like, well, not like the old Power Rangers. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, 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 super no. cheesy, the old Power Rangers. Um, but I liked it. It seemed like the movie grew up with its audience. Uh, the, it seemed like it was directed towards the people who used to, who grew up with Power Rangers as kids. Mm -hmm. And a more adult situation, you had adult jokes in there. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning, you had adult jokes in there. I liked it. I didn't. Like it? How much? What'd you say? You say you loved it? I loved it. I loved it. I didn't. I I liked it. It was it was a fun movie for me, but I had a few problems where I felt like it could have taken different turns. And the dialogue was a was was sometimes a problem for me. Although the actors did a really good job of selling those lines as hard as they were. Um, the pacing was enormously fast. Yeah. It felt like from the very beginning, it turns, it pushes that little red button in the Men in Black car, <laughs> and it just, <laughs> just just hold on right. to your panties because it's just gonna continue going and it never stops, which is fine because it's I think if they yeah. had taken too much time to like focus on one thing, it would have slowed down and the pacing would have felt off. It's a very constant speed. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, it's very fast paced. The plot develops really fast. Mm -hmm. the, you know, you, the, the characters develop really fast. And I didn't mind that. Any other movie, any mm -hmm. other movie, I would, I would hate that. But it's Power Rangers. You can't expect this in-depth storyline coming from where they came from. I understand they're revamping it, but it's still Power Rangers. When you get down to the base, it's Power Rangers, mm -hmm. you know? And I didn't mind that very fast-paced setting. Um, if you, for those of you who don't know who Power Rangers are and are watching this video, do you want to explain a little bit more about Power Rangers? You know, basically- Actually, on, you might know more than I do. You mean about five, the movie? Yeah, or? five teenagers okay. who, you know, run into these powers and, the, you know, they have to protect the, the, earth, the world, well, the world. Uh, they so have, the plot, as far as the movie's concerned. Yeah, as far as the movie's concerned, is I want to want to. As into. far as the movie's concerned, there were these uh, guardians of life, mm -hmm. uh, and the life energy is concentrated in these crystals. Zeo crystals. Zeo crystals, which is a callback to one of the uh, other Power, Power Rangers series. Zero. 
the one that I think it was like the second series that they did. And um, Zordon was a former Red Ranger who uh, failed against the e evil forces like Rita Repulsa, and um, uh, now they need to look for new Rangers. And they come in the form of these new teenagers. Um, which have problems of their own. Who have problems of their own, which was all expressed in a, in a pretty good way. Uh, but they, the the majority of the movie is about them developing the connection, developing and coming movies. together. And so the the general movie as a whole, without getting into spoilers mm -hmm. about the plot and, and going into it, it's uh, it has it it has its funny moments. Definitely, it has its uh, you know team building moments. And it also has that uh, very edgy new feel mm -hmm. to an old, you know, television series. And it sets it up for more. Mm -hmm. It sets it up for, for more possibilities for the future. And I think there was a lot of potential in the way that Elizabeth Banks decided to portray Rita Repulsa. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, they gave her some dialogue that didn't sit right with me all the time. But when it did connect really well, she was actually really creepy. It was Rita Repulsa. That's another thing. Like she, she did, she did get a job. She did a good job at it. Mm -hmm. But I, I kept having to remind myself, this is Power Rangers. <laughs> you know, this is Rita Repulsa we're talking about. <laughs> so you didn't want to take it too seriously, and I think that's kind of where we differ. Is <clears throat> that I feel like you can treat this property more seriously, and I think that that's maybe what some people were looking for, mm -hmm. and. Definitely, this movie is way more serious than any other Power Rangers incarnation oh, we've ever yeah, had. Yeah. But I feel like it's. Um, well, that I mean, honestly, now that I think about it, that is that satisfies me. The amount of seriousness it got to. I don't need it to like, you know, oh, the Power Rangers are hacking off limbs or they're getting. The way I put it before to someone is, you know, it's it's more of a adult situation Power Ranger. Mm -hmm you know, feel, uh, rather than what it was before, which is why I think that, honestly, I think the movie was geared more towards that audience that grew up with the old Power Rangers, mm -hmm. you know, because they, they, obviously they're growing up now, so they wanted to give something on screen that they could probably relate to in their life now, mm -hmm. so I, I liked it, uh, anything else to add before we go ahead with the spoilers and the, in more in-depth? Um, no, the, the major problems I had was still uh, some of the dialogue it, on all fronts, whether it was the main characters or actually some of the side characters did really well at portraying their parts. Um, I'd have to say like the parents and stuff, mm -hmm. they were pretty uh, interesting, but the way they paced it, it really felt like I didn't get to understand why anything was happening. It was just like, this is happening, go along with it, keep going. And that kind of didn't sit well with me. And that personally for me just mm -hmm. dragged me down on my score. I um, would uh, recommend for people to go see it. Definitely. I... Definitely, definitely. You should go see it because it's it's way more fun than I thought I was going to have from the trailers alone. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the I... actors do a really good job of keeping everything together. I give it an 8. For anyone who's, you know, wondering about seeing it, or maybe, you know, they don't really want to see it, if they think like that, you know, y'all might not be sure that it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was a good movie, at least to go see it once and get your opinion in there. I give it an 8. Essentially a superhero origin story? Mm-hmm, pretty much. And like I said, the movie's setting it up for more stuff. Right. And that's what it, the whole vibe of the whole movie, you got little hints of stuff here and there, like, okay, that, I can see that. That, that if they wanted to, they could take further. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't so focused on, and that I appreciate it. Um, I would give it about a 7.5 out of, out of 10, uh, just because I feel like a lot of those problems really bogged me down and sometimes even took me out of the movie. Uh, at times, and that uh, really didn't help with the experience. Um, so, with that being said, if you don't want to get into spoilers, if you don't want to know about what happens, then this is where you would click off. And until next time, yada yada, keep it cheesy. Um, but now is the spoiler section. Spoilers. So, so. <clears throat> I just want to throw out there before I forget, Okay. there was a lot of stuff that was thrown there from the beginning and at the end that set up stuff that we already know if you're a Power Ranger fan in the old, in the old series. Mm -hmm. For example, when at the end, when Rita's thrown up in this, into space, she's kind of 
you know, floating and you see the moon in the background, mm -hmm. that's where her base is. That's where her base is in the show. So I'm assuming they're going to do that and there's going to be another movie. You, you don't... Depending on how successful this one was at the box office. The end credit scene? Tommy. They said his name. You know, the green stuff was there. He's there. And it, and it from what I got... Rita was the Green Ranger in this movie. She was a former, she was Green, a Ranger, former Green Ranger. Which was actually a way cooler way of introducing these characters. <clears throat> like the fact that Zordon wasn't just this like weird leader I like bestowing that. power. He was a former like Red that. Ranger. Rita Repulsa was a former Green Ranger. Shit fell apart. Mm -hmm. People got uh, feelings hurt. People saw power. It corrupted people, you know? Rita wanted more. Uh, Zordon just wanted to protect life. Right. Uh, it was good. It was it was a really nice new look, mm -hmm. and <laughs> I mean we we're talking about a television series that wasn't that serious before, so for them to take that and add that, and I really loved, like you said, Zoran used to be a Red Ranger. I connected with that mm -hmm. a lot more. Then um, he was Rita, just like this weird floating head. Trust me, I'll give you power. Yeah, and then Rita being the former Green Ranger, that that resonated with me. That adds really a whole well. new dimension to the story mm -hmm. and her character. She's not just this like one dimensional I mean, of course, even in the even in this movie, she's a little one dimensional and a lot of her lines are pretty pretty <laughs> bad. But I feel like there was this one scene okay. Remind me to get back into this one scene with her about when when they first start fighting. But um there was this one scene where she was fighting the rangers. I'm just going to go into it. I don't care. Go for it. Uh, she was fighting the rangers, and they were kicking some ass. They were fighting these putties, which are now these weird golem, golem uh, looking things. Pokemon monsters. More, more appendages than ever. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she seemed to be getting really pumped up by the action, by like the fact that she's going to be able to fight again, and which really spoke to her character and how obsessed she's become with like power and violence. Mm -hmm. And I wanted her to get more excited about that, like the thrill of the fight, and you know, it seemed like that's where she was heading, but she never really like, we never really saw her have that like, come on, like the way uh, in, in The Dark Knight where Joker's like, hit me, hit me! Yeah. I wanted her to be like, come on, let's do it, let's do it. You know, as and much as, got that. It, now that you say that, <clears throat> I don't think we ever saw her go 100%. Mm -mm. It was more of a, I got this feel, and let me show you my power, I'm kind of cocky. feel, and flexing her muscle. Mm -hmm. We never saw her go 100%. Like one-on-one. -on -one. We never got to see that. No. It, we saw a little bit of it when they didn't have their morph suits, <clears throat> but uh, after that, uh, they just fought um, this weird version of Goldar. It's, and they oh had their, my and gosh. they had their weird version of the Megazord. Like, how... Do I all didn't... these little robots fall into a pit of fire, and then because of that fire and friendship, I didn't they mind fall into this big robot. I didn't mind the Megazord because I kept reminding myself, "This is a new thing. Mm -hmm. This is a this is the future. This is what they're doing." And uh, I didn't mind the Megazord. Goldar is what upset me. Really, I didn't like. Okay, so I don't remember if they went that in depth to it on the TV show. But as far as like the comic, like, he, he had a face. Either way, in the in the TV show or the or the comic, it was like a weird dog face. He, yeah, he had a face, and in the comic, he's part of this like superior race mm -hmm. that he's working almost hand in hand with Rita Repulsa, and I feel like this is the end of him as far as the movie goes. But I feel like they short sold it a lot. They, they could have used him. In a, in a future movie, or they could have even built up his character for, you know, it, for at least introduce him in the next movie or something, mm -hmm. you know. Instead, they turned him into, like, what they used to do with Bane, which was, like, he's a minion to be used yeah. as a weapon. Yeah, and that's about it. We don't know for sure, but it looks like he's done. He's done. He's done. Un until Rita Repulsa gets her power back and then summons Goldar again, that's if it. If she can. If she can, because they took away her green talisman, didn't they? Uh, or her coin? Her little Power Ranger coin? Uh, did they? I think so, because they took away her staff, didn't they? I can't remember. I just remember they bitch slapped her. Which was hilarious. <laughs> Sent her into space. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Um, another thing I like were these subtle callbacks. Like... When Rita Repulsa, because it's the Power Rangers, so I just wanted to see them do Power Ranger shit. So when Rita Repulsa was like, 
Make my monster grow! I was like, and she didn't do it exactly like the, the TV show. She just like, it was real subtle. It was a little nuanced, a little more nuanced than the reader repulsive from the TV show. But when she said that, I was like, oh, I, I, I just, well, I love hearing it. You know, it's cheesy. It's, it's not like uh, anything anyone logical would say. The biggest smile on my face when we saw Amy Jo Johnson and Jason David Frank on there. It hit me in the childhood. I was like, oh. And they're older. For the longest time, I saw you know in 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 reviews and, and articles saying that they were gonna be no like Jason David Frank is probably the most active person with Power Rangers that you know he kept up with it. He's still signing. He shit still he was in cons. he was in future seasons constantly Definitely. constantly in future seasons. He came back to be a ranger in some of those, and uh, you know so he was the bigger one that you know initially everyone's like he's gonna be in it. He's mm -hmm. got to be in it. And a lot of things were saying no, 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 and then I just kind of stopped following that whole thing, you know, as far as who, like, if some, some of the old rangers were going to be in it. And I completely forgot about it, to be mm -hmm. honest. I was into the movie, I was watching it, and they showed up, and I was like, oh, I just, everything came back, and I was like, that's awesome. And then when they uh, all took the Zords out to go defend the city as Goldar's coming, and they played, oh, go, go, Power Rangers, oh, me, 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 It go, matched go, up Power well. Rangers. It gave it you that. It fit in so well. It gave you that, I, I, honestly, it reminded me of being at home in my pajamas watching Power Rangers when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked it. It, it, it. It's a, it's a hint towards, like, the old intro to the Power Rangers movie, all the Zords, like, running at the same time. It was great. You know, there were... One, one of the things that also bothered me was there were a lot of cuts uh, with the, di the direction and the way they decided to, to shoot certain scenes. It was just like every like five seconds we cut, to a, view, we cut to a new person, a new angle, a new like... And it was, it was nice for a little bit and then it just got really disorienting for a, a lot of it. I kind of... The only reason I didn't mind that is because I felt like they were trying to play on the whole they all relate mm -hmm. kind of thing. So it's cutting and it's it's showing you how all of them are kind of going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. So that's the only reason why I didn't mind that. Um, but I can see how that gets annoying because it's like cut, 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 cut. This person, not this person, not this person. Not Even this person. when they were just like, and this was one, like there were a lot of plot holes. Like it never made sense. Like they, these were just random teenagers. It didn't seem like they were special in any sort of way because... You know, they all just were at the place where, um... They just so happened to be, and he blew the rock up. Where the, where the kid blew the rock up. Where the Blue Ranger blew the rock up. Billy. Billy Cranston? Yeah. Which is funny, because... Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston is playing Zordon, so maybe that's a little nod to his name. I have no idea why they would do that, but, um... Yeah, that aside, it, it just never made sense. Like, why were they all there? Does that make them special? Was that destiny? Who are they? What makes a ranger a ranger? Is it just being able to go through the training? You know, it, it was never really made clear whether it was, like, destiny or happenstance, and they just were, you know, just because well, they that, were there, they were selected. There was that little scene where Zordon's like, well, you, you must be them because the stone chose you. And that's why I was like, okay, well, the destiny. Kind that of was kind of lazy, though. It was, because but it's Power Rangers. I know, but you can still <laughs> write a coherent story yeah. around it. That, yeah. I mean, that was just, that's for me, like, people can drop that really easily. You know, even I was like, okay, this is the Rangers, they're there, just go. You know, like, let's, let's do more things. We don't have, if we spent more time trying to give a reason as to why they all wound up there, we'd, we'd waste more screen time. Uh, as it is, we only got to see the morph suits at the end. I'm you know? super... Well, in the beginning, when the rangers are dying, you get to see them. Um, you know, you get that hint of it, and then you don't really see them until later. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really biased on this, but I'm a sucker for the old costumes. I am a sucker for the way they looked, uh, but I... I was okay with the new costumes. Mm -hmm. I was okay with the way they looked. I get it. It's 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 now. It's uh it's a more futuristic looking. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I so I didn't mind them, but I don't care too much for them. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, super CGI, which didn't look too bad. It, it looked better than what I thought it was gonna look, um, on screen. They they all were CG and, um, 
you know, I'm not entirely sure how I felt about that. I felt like I wanted more, more practical, like, you know, the when they do, time. when they do yeah. Iron Man, when they shoot Iron Man, he's not always in a green screen thing. Oh yeah, Although he has nowadays he probably is, but I've seen like shots where they're like filming, and he just has like this top half. Mm. You know, they're not filming his whole bottom. They just need like this mid shot, and so he gets the this big like chest piece armor, back piece armor that they put over him for his scenes, and they get the little helmet. Maybe they could have done something like that, and then for the bigger, more complex shots. You know, they could do something else. It just never really felt like they were actually wearing something mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. And um, that was pretty much it. A lot of the, the plot holes, uh, like how Rita Repulsa knew that one, that the Blue Ranger knew where the life crystal was, the Zeo crystal. How she knew Crispy that cream. he knew, which was a really funny. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. It's the, it's the source of life. Source of life. <laughs> it's a weird like advertisement for Krispy Kreme. For those of y'all who didn't know, um, it's actually pretty funny that they did that, and it makes sense now because Krispy Kreme was doing this huge campaign for them. And, oh, so it uh, was an advertising thing. And they were um, they 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 I don't know if they're still doing it, but they made special Power Ranger donuts and everything, and. Uh, it, it had the whole theme. I think uh, some of the select Krispy Kreme locations were modeled after Angel Grove, oh. which was kind of cool. But I, it made more sense once I saw the movie. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, that's why y'all are doing this, what, the thing that y'all are doing. But so, it, it still never made sense that Rita Repulsa knew that one of them figured it out. Like, we, we were never given a reason as to how she would know that type of thing. And she so that, also knew what Ranger was what, and did... That I could get a sense of because I feel like she's had enough experience with the Rangers that she maybe the crystals yeah maybe kind the crystals sense of connection yeah because the big theme is connecting to people mm -hmm. and forming a really strong bond and that's how you activate these powers that's how you activate your morph suits is that you all connect to each other uh, in this really like More intense grid. way you connect on to an, the grid on an energy level that. Uh, no one can describe. It's this weird version of their science. And uh, I thought that was really interesting because it kept playing in on itself. When they were ready to die at the end, like when they were getting pulled, pushed into the pit, they were like, we'll die together, you guys. Let's just hold the line for as long as we can. This might be it. Go they fall swim. in. And I think that the reason why they were able to form the Megazord is because they finally, like, really, really connected together it, on that energy plane. It didn't touch on how the Megazord was made, either. No. It just, they went in, separate Zords, and they connected, and they came out as one. Which, uh, me saying that kind of makes me make sense of it all. <laughs> you know, they went in all separate, they mm -hmm. connected, and they came out as one. Like a team. <laughs> I just, I literally just got that in real time. <laughs> um... As far as acting goes, all the kids did a really good job. Yeah. Um, I thought they... Definitely. Did. Definitely. The kids were the saving grace because under any other hands of less capable actors, these lines would have been atrociously cheesy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, some of these were pretty, pretty bad. Um, I can't remember... Uh, pretty much any of them, but I remember that they were really bad, and I remember cringing and being taken completely out of the story and the and what was happening because they were just like, I'm a bad person. You don't have to be a bad person. You know what another new take that they did was these all, all these kids had problems in one way or another. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't these goody-goody kids who were just your average teenagers who were overachievers, which was the television show. Mm -hmm. um, and they were all in Misfits in some way, shape, or form. I've heard it be described as <clears throat> the breakfast club of superheroes. That's, that makes sense. Um, I think the only one who really didn't get into any trouble was Billy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, the only reason he was in that detention thing is because he blew up his lunchbox. Yeah, because he doesn't know how to science respectfully among <laughs> humans. So, and I mean, I thought that was a cool new take. Mm -hmm. You know, they're taking the, they're taking 
the the misfits of the town and they become superheroes because there's something more inside of them. Mm -hmm. I like that um, it was a new take, like I said, as opposed to the old Power Rangers, how they're just these overachievers who deserve this power mm -hmm. and you know they they are willing to fight for it and they know what's right, as opposed to these kids that we that are in the movie who have to learn how to work as a team and accept themselves really I guess definitely um, it was nice it was a, it was a nice down to earth kind of kind of feel very very fun movie uh, with a lot of bad lines but people that that whose charisma really holds it all together in a very enjoyable way and I do look forward to seeing the next uh, iteration of this property because I feel like um, they're going to be able to take their time with a little bit more of the struggles of the characters. Yeah. You know, they don't need to do so much That's definitely exposition, information, this is who I am. Definitely something that I'm looking forward to in the next movie. It, okay, so what I, was, what I was telling you yesterday and what I was telling Mercedes was, you know, the fast pace was okay mm -hmm. for this first movie. Now this next movie, I need it to go slow paced. A little bit. I need it to not progress as fast because we know all of them. Mm -hmm. The only person that we need to introduce is Tommy now. Mm -hmm. And that shouldn't take that long. No. Because um, as far as... He was as, already introduced. As, yeah, he was, he was introduced. And as far as like other introduction, I mean, he's... I mean, let's just go based on the TV show for now. He's being manipulated by Rita Repulsa in some way, and that is her ranger, mm. and he's the bad guy. So it'll be interesting to see how that dynamic plays out. Maybe we'll get a more, like, ranger-focused uh, movie, mm -hmm. because we're really going to dig into, like, um, you know, he's... The, I really don't see a big Zord battle. Of course, a lot of people would probably want one. The Dragon Zord, man. But I, would I be, want to see the Dragon Zord. I would be just as happy um, getting a Ranger versus Ranger battle. Because I think when he turns oh. evil, he kicks everyone's yeah, ass. Yeah, he does. He does. He can take all of them off. Exactly. That'll be, that's going to be so interesting to see because it's going to be like a version of Rita Repulsa, but with, um, with a little more ranger, ring, ranger to ranger contact, mm -hmm. which has always been a really interesting thing when they have, they have when they have villains that are the mirror image of superheroes like Spider Man and Venom, um, it really like creates this dynamic interplay between them that I enjoy, and so that's what I'm looking forward to. What I'm interested to see them incorporate, what I really want them to incorporate in the next movie, is their weapons. Mm -hmm. um, the only one that used the weapon was the Red Ranger. Um, we didn't even. They weren't sword. even giving. They didn't give a reason as to how he activated it. I guess he's just happened. more at one with his suit. Is what maybe because I mean everyone has a special weapon. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Kimberly has the bow. Um, Trini has the daggers, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, Billy has the staff. Uh, Zach has the axe. Um, you know, uh, Jason has the sword. And um, Tommy, of course, has his flute slash sword. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I thought I, I didn't mind it not being in this one because mm -hmm. they were new to the whole thing. And that would have been but a whole new layer of like. It's something that your weapon. Yeah, it's something that I want to see in the next one, because uh, you know that that's that's another iconic thing that you attach to them, the mm -hmm. weapons, because it's all specific, mm -hmm. just like their swords. I honestly probably look at the swords just as important as their weapons. Because it's it's in unison with them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's their own thing. Um, and where there is a Green Ranger, there will be a White Ranger. Which is something to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you guys think? Did you like the movie? Have you seen the movie? Um, what did you think of uh, the information we gave out? Talk amongst yourselves. Yell at us in the comment section. What about Alpha 5? I did not like Alpha 5. <laughs> I almost missed that one. Uh, I didn't mind he Alpha was so 5. Annoying. Just in the light of it being a whole new revamp, I was open to him. I didn't think he did he did a terrible job. Bill Hader. I didn't think Bill he, Hader is a good voice he, actor. He didn't do a terrible job. It was new. They just gave him bad lines. He was trying to it, to me it felt like they were trying to make him to be uh, a witty, like a wittier C-3PO. They were trying to make him into C-3PO and it wasn't working because that's just not 
who that was. He was more of like... Did you want the more arms flailing? I, yeah, he's worried about everything. A little he bit. You wanted that more? I wanted him like an anxious thing. Like he was always more like um, telling them what they needed to do. You know what I mean? It seemed like he was more of a help than a assistant yeah. in, the, in the movie. He was more like a trainer almost than yeah. he was... Because in the in the, the information guy. in the show he's more of just a uh, just basically an assistant who's just like doing, someone's attacking the yeah, city rangers doing I whatever I, 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 I. doing whatever his word on says yeah and then this one it's more of like a like a side by side help kind of thing except that he calls him master <laughs> yeah he did call him master <laughs> so I don't know that's that's a weird relationship yeah probably I guess maybe I mean, we'll see we'll definitely see more of them in the next movie um, I didn't mind Alpha Five it was okay. I mean, I nothing to hoot about, but yeah, nothing. Just one hoot, maybe. Not nothing more than that. But tell us what you guys thought. Uh, we're really interested in, in in getting to know what your opinions are. Uh, talk it amongst yourselves in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Jet adventures. Jet adventures. And